Few murders before or since have caused such revulsion. The discovery of children's bodies on Saddleworth Moor left the public wondering who could commit such dreadful crimes and why. Ian Brady was a petty criminal who grew up in Glasgow where he's remembered for his cruelty to other children and animals. He later took a job in Manchester and when his company hired a new typist called Myra Hindley, the couple became lovers and Brady led her into a world of sadism. Outwardly a normal couple, they became serial killers, abducting, sexually assaulting and murdering children. When Brady and Hindley were arrested, they said nothing challenging detectives to prove their guilt. They remained silent even when police had found three children's bodies in shallow graves on Saddleworth Moor. Years later, Brady told the BBC his remorse for the crimes was painfully deep, but he could never explain his motive. Until her death in 2002, his accomplice blamed him, but if anything, she became the greater hate figure. He, in many ways, escaped some of the disgust that the public should feel for him because he was accompanied by a woman and uh, um, I'm not sure that he got his full share, his fair share of public uh, hatred. In the 1980s, the two killers made full confessions and went back to the moors separately to help the search for other victims. Pauline Reed's body was eventually recovered, but Keith Bennett's grave was never found. I wanted one of them to come up with the two so I could nail the two of them. Nail them for the rest of the life like they nailed me down. I wanted them prosecuted for Keith's death. Winnie Johnson died in 2012, regretting to the end that she'd been unable to give her son a Christian burial. Brady spent the last years of his life in Ashworth High Security Mental Hospital. In 1999, he decided to die and stopped eating, so doctors force-fed him using a tube. He wrote many letters to the BBC complaining about his treatment and in 2012 unsuccessfully petitioned to be returned to a normal prison. He continued to vent his anger at Myra Hindley for trying to minimise her role in the Moors murders. Although Ian Brady's crimes now belong to another era, they will be recorded as among the most infamous ever seen in Britain. <laughs>